everybody, I want to give you a quick overview on a brand new product that is our tailgate rack mounts. So you get a left and a right, they hold on just around the license plate, and uh, they're very easy to mount with just a couple of holes. All right, the rack mounts include the basic hardware, which I've got sitting right here, and then you're going to need some simple hand tools. Two sizes of Allen wrench, I grabbed a socket, that could be a, a standard wrench, a blue sharpie, and you're going to need a hand drill to drill quarter inch holes where the cargo rack meets the new rack mounts. All right, I've determined the proper size wrench for the bolts that I had on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen those. All four up. And then I'm going to open them about a quarter inch. We actually slotted them so you don't have to remove this completely. You just pull this out and then you can slide this behind and then lock it down. So that makes installation or removal very, very easy. At this point, you could mount anything you want. You could put a piece of wood on here, a flat piece of aluminum, a piece of UHMW plastic, whatever you want to support, whatever it is you have, okay? But you need something across here that, that bolts all this together to stiffen it up. In my case, I'm gonna use one of our cargo racks and uh, what I'm going to do is get this thing centered up. And if you'll notice that the brackets are designed so that you have full visibility of the license plate, your license plate light and third brake light, your tail lights, and access to the door handle. So everything's up out of the way and this entire thing will swing open with your door. All right, once you put your rack on or whatever you're going to mount on top of the mounts, you need to be cognizant that the back of the Jeep is curved. So I slide my rack all the way back and then pull it back out about a quarter inch. That way, whatever tie downs you have aren't gonna rub against the paint on the Jeep. Now what I'm gonna do is take my blue Sharpie that I mentioned before, and I'm going to mark the holes and then I'll go ahead and drill them. All right. Give you nice stainless steel hardware, put a washer on each side of the bolt drop it through there you go double check my clearance on the back of the gate everything opens up and closes nicely